Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. Well, the last video was a lot of talking, but we did sweet talk the Handmaiden into training under us as a Jedi. That's going to be really cool. We really need to talk more to Beodur, and we still haven't talked to Visus yet. Whatever, she can just sit in a corner. It's fine. We're going to go somewhere else. We need to head back to Duxon and find out what's going on there. We got a message that uh, maybe Kavar was looking for us. We got a message from the Mandalorian guy. So let's go. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter. It is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we'll need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. Here we are on Duxon. Let's go ahead and head out. I think we're mostly going to go, and I know it's unfortunate. I really thought we were going to earn some dark side points, but we're really heading into the light, guys. We really are. We killed Rook, and we still got light side points. That is the thing that happened. We're going to get out of here, and we're going to take, because we're going to... Oh, I wonder if we should take Kreia, since we are going to the palace. Yeah, probably. And who else? Oh, we have to take the Handmaiden, right? We have to see if we can get her into her Jedi role. Yeah. So here she is in her mother's robes. Let's get her leveled up into a... Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, here it is. Jedi Guardian. Attributes. Hmm. Should we get her wisdom up? I think we need to pump this dexterity to here. That'll help us a lot. Skills. No, that's fine. That's fine. And feats. Now, we do want her to... Yeah, we're going to go here to the Master 2 weapon fighting. And we're going to get her... Oh, maybe a double-bladed? Or should she have two? We did pick up... Oh, she needs some speed. Right? She's going to be very hands-on. I think speed is a good idea for her. Oh, two powers. 
That gets her an extra attack right there and some defense. I like that. And this for sensitive. What else we have? She's got the toughness. Oh, we need finesse for lightsabers. Finesse melee, finesse lightsabers. That's what we're taking. Heal. Next, this, this, this. Yeah, that's the unarmed. Oh, I thought we picked up dual strike for her. Let's get lightsaber proficiency. She's going to be our upfront hold the line character. And then maybe maybe we'll go down the um the push section. So now, maybe we put a little bit into wisdom. I think an 18 dexterity is good enough. Yeah. Hmm. And now we get to the... To the hard part. Dual strike? I think maybe the master lightsaber... No, defense. This one with plus two damage, that seems just not close enough. Jedi defense for deflection rolls. I like that. Yeah, I want her to, to tank quite a bit. And powers. What did I say? Force push, I think I did. Oh, maybe stasis. Yeah, we'll do this. Because I don't think anybody's going down this path yet. That'll be her own special thing. And she's... There she is. Now, we're not as good as her, but we're a little too good. So that's that. I want to... There's the guy that'll take us. I think... Yeah, right over here. No, that's ship wreckage. We need to get to where that cache was. We're just going to take the long way and try to try to see what we can do. I want to have a conversation with Beodur because we kind of moved along with him a little bit. I, it took me forever to ask him about Telos. I think I, I, I've always been under the impression if we're just nice to him, he he will go. But he really does need some light side things to happen. I don't know if we'll do that many more of those, except for here, right? Like here on, um, you know, maybe we should take him. Now is this the is this the area? No, that's the ship. Right? Yeah, there's nothing there. As far as Visus goes, we should talk to her, but I mean, we're we're pre she's a Sith and I don't know. We're fighting the Sith. Do we even want to talk to her? We might at some point. But that's on the back burner. We also want to... The thing with Atten. Maybe Narshada should be next. We've got... After this, we've got Narshada and Korriban. And maybe we save Korriban for last. I really want to see if there's something we can do with Atten. But at the same time... I really wanted to see if we could get Hanhar. And we are not bad enough. We are not bad enough. We need to go this way. To the next area. I think there's this area, and then the area after that is the um, the Mandalorian place. But the way things are now, we are gonna get the the bounty bounty hunter lady, <laughs> the bounty hunter lady. So. Maybe we should go to Korriban and then do Narshada. I like some of the dialogue that you can get with Kreia if you have Hanhar. I mean, some really cool stuff can happen. 
This door is impenetrable to anything short of high-grade explosives. Well, I have some high-grade explosives. Let's open it. Blinding flash mine. Right, 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 right. Let's get... You know what we, we did? Yes. What do I want to do? I want to go here. Let's get Atten in here. Or... Does Bayodur have good... Oh, every... Every time. Does Bayodur have good demolitions? I don't remember. Let's check. You're out. You're in. Go. Yes. Let's go. Can you pick this up? Skill too low. This will just take a second. I hear you. I hear you. Now he should have plenty of skill to do this. Skill, skill too low. Well, what can we do about that? Something here is good for demolitions. Are we wearing it? Hmm. Maybe a belt? Is there a belt that's good? There's that plus one. Or maybe I'd bring one of the droids out. Wait, am I... Hold on. I totally forgot. We, we changed our equipment so much. So that's the one thing there. There's gloves. There we go. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. So let's get him... We could level, level him up a little bit. Do this. Get that belt on. Try again. No. Well, we're doing this. Level up. Sneak attack, skills, get that demolition up and everything out. Really? This. We'll do... Maybe... Oh yeah, do this. Yeah. And that... And let's see if we can do it now. Hey, we got it. Fantastic. Let's get this other one. They just give you so many components that you don't... You want to recover those if you can. So what do we got in here? Was this worth the thorium charges? Some exchange work gloves. We'll take a look at those. Shield and credits. Arcanian Sonic Blaster. Some armor. Credits. And alacrity. Probably not worth it unless those gloves are amazing. They are the better version of these. They do give you a dexterity bonus. Now, he does not need any more... Dexterity, right? What does his outfit do? Plus seven. So he could go a little bit higher. We'll, we'll go back to those. And then... This one. Yep. Well, that was fun. And I think we just need to get, yeah, through this tunnel and into the next area. You received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know how good their offer is anymore. 
Hmm. What's changed? This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. I need to get to Master Kavar. I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible, and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies, Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How? We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. Zuka's satellite relay has also picked up several shuttle launches with old Sith transmitter IDs. Some sort of staging base, perhaps. The Sith forces must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. I have to lead the group heading to the Royal Palace, don't I? You... you are correct. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. Oh, well, we just made him in a Jedi, so maybe we do her. Her or Mandalore? Wait, I can't pick Mandalore? No, of these four, definitely handmade. I will do what you ask of me. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Mandalore? Excellent choice. Hey. And who else? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't want to send HK. I'm thinking Atten or Beodur. We're keeping Visus out of this. She doesn't belong with us. And we're not going to send her to fight Sith because she could just turn on us. And Atten and... You know what? Maybe Beodur. No, he doesn't get along with Mandalore. Nobody gets along with each other! Beodur and Mandalore don't get along. Atten and the Handmaiden don't get along. But I think maybe Atten will follow orders. Yeah. Atten. If you say so. <laughs> now, are you certain of your choices? Yeah, I'm certain. Let's go. Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. Uh, let's talk to Kex. Let's talk to Kex. We'll come back to him in a second. And we'll see will if gather we the need... scattered clans. Wait. We will try oh, he's around this way, I think. It's you again. Kelborn told me to give you these. He said it would help you out. Cool. Thanks. What do you got? Some lightsabers that I sold to you. Hmm. Plasma grenades. We could definitely use those. We might already have some. Let's take this battle stimulant. We might need that. Wow, you don't have a ton. Nope. Oh, we got a life support pack from him. Thanks, bud. Well, that's good enough. Let's go. journey through the jungle. Yes, they're ready to go. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Finally, we're close.
close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. One yeah, thing I want to do you. is look at Atten and make sure he has... Yeah, he's got pretty good weapons. I don't think we have anything better. This does 8 to 20 and can stun. I did modify some stuff off camera, make some mods and throw some stuff in. I think he's... Like, this is pretty good. But it does, if it if it crits, I, th I think we're set. I think we're set. Yes. And Mandalore is already pretty good. I think we're good to go. Let's just okay. look at everybody's... Yeah, you're aggressive. Yeah, you have your swords. I hear you. He has a strength package in, and you are good. I Let's do you. this. Wait, stop. That is not what I wanted. Say the word. Oh, she has... Oh, she doesn't really need a lightsaber right now. Um, she does a lot of damage on her own. Okay, what I meant to do was the speed. Which we'll do in a second. But let's see if she is better with a lightsaber or without. Yeah, we'll give her the immunity belt back. She does 8 to 26 with a plus 17 to attack. Now I made her this white one. Oh, I didn't do anything to it. Totally forgot. Or this. You know what? I was going to give her this guy and then this one. Plus 20, 4 to 22. And what was she without? Wait. Oh, well... You know what? I think this is good. I think this is really good. What about everything else? Detonator gloves. 42 plus 2. Is there anything else that's better? She is a dexterity girl. Damage resistance. And saves. Dexterity wisdom. Mm, I don't think that'll help us that much. I like the saves. Oh yeah. All white. Lightsaber in Mandalore's face. Let's go. Now, speed, speed up. Kill this guy. More where that came from. Oh, look at this. That was great. Yeah, the speed is perfect for her. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something. Atten, you say the do word. your thing. Oh, there's a lot of mines. Some sort of sensor is up ahead, beyond the mines. It's type 2 perimeter motion relay. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. That relay will detect anything that gets too close to it. Only a skilled stealth field operator can get by it safely. But unless all of you can use stealth generators, it will detect your group. Too bad, too. If you got by it undetected, it could make your task much easier. The same person that can use the cell field can probably also disable it. Maybe? Or since Atten's going to be our stealth guy, he's just going to go blow it up. Making detonation packs is complicated and dangerous. Not for our demolition expert. It looks serviceable, and you didn't blow yourself up. Avoid the mines. If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated, then we shouldn't even bother. Here we go. So... He's gonna need the stealth now. Stealth plus six. Yes. And maybe... Get the demolitions... Gloves on. Stealth plus four. Good enough. So now you go into stealth mode. Wait here. Get this mine. 
Everybody else will stand back. This is going to take a minute. I hope he's good enough to do whatever it is we're supposed to be doing with that sensor array. You know, seeing as we're fighting a bunch of Sith, I maybe I should have had Vissus come, but Vissus and Handmaiden together in the same group? I don't know. We're almost there. I think we can probably just go past these two, but I do want the supplies, the components. Last one. And let's get this. It appears to be active. It's humming quietly. Use the detonation pack. De the, demolition the demolition charge has permanently disabled the sensor. You can pass through the area undetected. Okay, cool. I, I mean, we're... Let's get everybody back. Yes? I mean, we're not going to sneak around anyway. Remember this. What is that thing? Turret power generator. What turret? What is this? The turret power generator for the Sith camp is running efficiently. There are several manual levers and other op things to operate it. What does the generator do? Well, we know what it does. It powers the turret. Which we probably want to turn off. Turrets in this area are no longer functional. Is that... Did we want to do that? Is there anything over here? No. Look at this. Fantastic. She's pretty powerful. But we can't... Yeah, we can't go over by the water. Oh, no, we can. Oh, this is weird. So what do we have over there? We have the ship. We have this... This thing. There's a monster. Boma. And I think those are Sith guys. Turrets are off. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, yeah. Disabled. Intruders, kill them! Let's speed up. Then go murder some faces. Wait, did, we didn't cast our speed. Let's settle this. Go get that guy. This is amazing. You guys are so awesome. Oh, this guy. Security terminal. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 no. Uh, I think. What's wrong? I hear. What does Atten have for this? I don't know if we brought anybody with good computer skills. He's got four, but he can put some things on that'll help with that. Just not here. Gloves. Computer use plus one. I think there's something better. Plus four? That's it. One spike. Security cameras. Base camp. Yep. Minefield. Already handled. Officer Logs, oh, log 25403 from 14 days ago. This is my first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters. The fool let Canox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. 
I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedon Naird oh. lies inside. We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. A bleak assignment. Sign off. I'm gonna have to look up Freed and Ned. I, I don't remember the deal. But that's cool. A nice little tomb to visit. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace here. Fifty percent more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. The beasts here continually assault our mind perimeter. We've had to replace the mind fields four times so far. We received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea what it contained. We're expecting more Sith to arrive any day. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. There never is. Signing off. And the last one. Coded messages from Orbit and from Onderon. Some sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. The Sith Master said something about a disturbance in the force. Well, what does that even mean? How do I prepare for that? <sighs> From his tone, the threat is serious. We've put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor grid. The only thing that could worry our Master so much has to be a prop ship invasion from the Onderon military. We will be prepared. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, he said it was a surprise. I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off. Hmm. So that's all of them, I think. Yeah. System commands. Schematics? We don't need the schematics. Not for four spikes. I think we're good. Yeah, we lost that one spike. Ready. Let's look around for just a second. I think there were some things we could pick up. Oh, we could get this. Oh, some spikes. Perfect. And this footlocker. Rodian Death Blade. Baron Dosage Robe. What is that? Defense bonus of one. Wisdom plus one. I mean, I think she'll keep what she has. It's got decent damage immunity. Oh no, we have the Sage. Wisdom plus four. Let's take a look at it. I mean, it's okay. It's very richly colored. I do like it, actually. She's a little too pale for it, though. And it goes against the theme of all white for her. Right? Yeah. Yes? Let's see. It would be... There we go. Like that. That's awesome. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our time together. We'll go into the temple next time. Take care.